Uh, my name is Frank Barrett. I'm the coordinator of the Russell Tribunal in Palestine. I'm based in London. Uh, the brief history of the tribunal, we started in 2010 in Barcelona. The first session focused on uh, EU complicity in the denial of the Palestinian right to self-determination. We then moved to London, still in 2010, um, talking more especially about corporations and the, the part they play in uh, Israel impunity and Israeli war crimes. Then in 2011, we went to Cape Town in South, in South Africa, this time actually focusing and trying to see if the crime of apartheid under international law was applicable to Israel treatments of uh, the Palestinian people. And here we are now in, uh, in New York. We will talk about US complicity and the UN role in the question of Palestine. We know, and that's really the, the main aspect and the main objective of the tribunal, that Israel has committed countless of war crimes, has violated UN resolutions for, uh, uh, for many years. But the problem is that people sometimes don't see through that. And Israel couldn't do what it's been doing for decades now without the active support of corporations, of UN bodies, of other countries. Um, I mean, in a way, if you think about it, um, if Israel is the bank robber, who provides the weapon? Who prov provides the getaway car? Who provides the diplomatic cover? Who hides the cash? You know, it's all those elements, so the enablers of Israel's impunity that we are putting in the dock uh, with the Russell Tribunal in Palestine. So, I mean, so far, the, so the last three, four years have been a pretty amazing experience um, at various level and mainly uh, on a humane level as well. We've, um, with a crew of, that gets bigger and bigger, we've traveled the world really. We've, um, I think we did bridge, you know, we did build bridges between uh, solidarity movements from, from Spain, from Ireland, from South Africa, from the UK, from the US now. And uh, so we do hope that this session with the amazing panel, we've got the amazing US uh, committee that has put this in, in place, uh, the amazing um, jury panel, the speakers. We do hope, and the audience of course, we do hope that this is gonna help, um, you know, m this is gonna reinforce the uh, sort of pro-justice movement in the US, that it's gonna empower the pro-justice movement in the US, but also, also um, that it's gonna put the deciders in front of the action. They, they won't be able for much longer to actually uh, continue and remain silent in supporting Israel. We see radical changes. We've seen radical changes in the last few years all over the world. And I think the deciders, as we call them, know that their, their time is coming. And uh, we hope that the tribunal will, um, will go a long way in, uh, in making sure that um, Israel impunity stops that people that enable this impunity to continue stop and that you know we're in an amazing place historic place in terms of the democratic uh, assembly and uh, um, and we hope that democracy which is the will of the people will will uh, will actually regain its um, its original definition in the next couple of years